Hi, this is the CatCam Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to create something like this in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a completely free 3D CAD system that anyone can use and to get started just download it and you can begin creating your own 3D models. Now let's see how to create this model in FreeCAD. I will start a new project in the Part Design Workbench. I begin by creating a sketch on the XY plane and I draw a rectangle using the centered rectangle tool. I place the center of the rectangle at the origin and set the dimensions to 100 by 70 millimeters. These dimensions aren't critical, this is just a base example to show you the idea. Now I will create a datum plane that aligns with this edge of the rectangle and is tilted at a specific angle. I do this by selecting these two vertices while holding CTRL and then clicking create datum plane. A construction plane is created and I choose a different positioning method. This one works for me. Now I'll set a rotation for the plane. We are rotating it around the x-axis. And I'll enter an angle of 45 degrees. You can use the mouse wheel or type in the value. I click OK to confirm and the key thing is that this plane should align with the edge of the solid. Now I select this plane and create a sketch on it. I draw a rectangle where the first corner lies on the x-axis. When the axis is highlighted, I click and then draw a 20 by 30 millimeters rectangle. Next, I want to center this rectangle on the solid. I right click to cancel the rectangle tool, then use create external geometry command to add a reference based on this edge. This gives me a point I can use for symmetry. Now I draw a line. Then right click to cancel the tool. I select the line and convert it into construction geometry. To center it, I select this point, this point and the construction line and apply a symmetry constraint. Then I do the same for the rectangle itself. Select both points and the center line and apply symmetry. We can also add fillets inside the sketch. I select the fillet tool, click on these two corners, then right click to cancel. I select both fillets and apply an equality constraint. Then I select one of them press D and enter 5 mm as the radius. The sketch is complete, so I close it. And now I want to pad this sketch. I click pad, but the sketch disappears. That's because the pad direction is wrong. Increasing the length doesn't help, but if I click reverse, the path appears. However, this path doesn't look right. I want it to extend to the opposite wall. We can change the path type from the default to up to face. But selecting this wall 
doesn't help it there. Instead, we can select the bottom face. And that works. Or simply use to last, which extends the path to the last feature. And I click OK to confirm. Now I select the datum plane in the model tree and press the spacebar to hide it. The path is done and next let's add a circle on this face. I select the face and create a sketch. I draw circle centered on the x-axis, set the diameter to 10 mm, then right click to cancel the tool. Now I will set the distance from the edge. I use external geometry to bring in this reference point. Then I select the center of the circle and the reference point, press D and enter 15 mm. Close the sketch and use the pocket operation. I set it to through all and click OK. We can also add a fillet. I select this edge, use the fillet tool, enter a 5 mm radius and confirm. As you can see, this is how we can model such shapes in FreeCAD. This method can be useful when designing jigs, templates or workshop aids. Let me repeat the process briefly. Select two points while holding Ctrl. Use Create Datum Plane. Choose its position and set the rotation, for example, 30 degrees. Click OK and create a sketch on that plane. You don't have to align the sketch with the previous geometry. You can place it somewhere else. For example, I will draw a sketch here. No need to dimension it now. Then I use pad. Choose to first. And enable reversed if needed. In this case, the sketch doesn't intersect with the target face, so everything works fine. I click OK and hide the datum plane and we can now add another sketch here and create another hole. As you can see, modeling this type of geometry in FreeCAD is fully possible and quite fast. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.